Um, I figured out how to resolve the 10,008 error and I'm going to start off by immediately taking the file and sending it through the um, through into render. So I'm going to go share and put it through the master file. So that's the, the big thing. Can you see it's 66 gigs, right? 66 gigs. Um, I'm going to show you what I've done again just because I did it so quickly. So I go to file, I go to share, and I go to not DVD but master file. And I basically put it straight away into the render cycle. So um, it's the 10,008 error. And we'll see, I'll show you how to figure this one out. So what it's doing now is it's preparing the media for sharing. And it's going to send it into, uh, it's going to send it into the place where I'm saving these files. So there it is, I'm going into documents. And um, any moment now we will see it, there it is. It's just appeared there, it's still zero bytes but it's rendering and it's not going to render very far because what I've discovered is every time I try to send this file into compressor, it's failing. It's just not going past three or four or five minutes. It's got different times that it's, that it's failing and I'm not sure where the frame is. So what I've done is I've found a way to work out exactly where the frame is. And this is the method for locating the exact location of the black frame. So what you do is, because that's what zero, what error is 10008 is, it's really a black frame or a, um, or a, an artifact that's corrupted in some way, you know, like a frame that's just not working. So what we're doing is really just locating that black frame. So once I get rid of that black frame, it'll start rendering perfectly. And, uh, and this is the file, so there's the, um, the error, H-T-D-A-N-G-F is the name of the movie I'm making, this is uh, How to Disappear and Never Get Found, and uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, a project that's been going on for a little bit, I'm just busy completing, doing a little bit of a, uh, a re-edit, a re just making it work a little better, I was able to get some extra new shots, and these new shots are going into the film. So what I'm doing is I'm just having a look at the file. There's the file. It's right in there. Boom. So that's the file. It's now 319 gigabytes. Any moment now it will fail and you will see it appear here in the right hand corner. The little failure signal. It's going to notify me that it's going to fail. And then I'm going to go into the file. And I'm going to show you exactly where that frame is. There it is. Share failed. The share operation master file has failed. I go into details and beautifully on cue almost there it is the share operation master file has failed and it's telling me that the error has occurred at frame 8256 error 1008 F and it's even kind enough to tell me where the file is actually the name of the file it's called cars stopped on road during storm it's a video blocks file and uh, it's at 5 minutes and 44 seconds Five minutes and 44 steps to be about here. So if I go back to that file, I should, if I, by scrolling through it, I can see the black frame. There's the black frame, right? There's the black frame right there. And that's how you find the black frame really quickly and locate error 1008.